It's another pen point and it's starting. And this particular pen point is brought to you by a new sponsor, Go Daddy. Okay, so I'm at the park. I go to the park, I bring my children to the park, and I talk to the MILFs. You know, there's a lot of MILFs there. And my, uh, my children go to this uh, fancy ass uh, private school. So there's, you know, there's like MILFs that are like the second wife or the thir third wife MILFs, you know. And they're at the park, so I go and talk to them. And I'm talking to this woman, and who is not from the um, from the school they go to. She was uh, she was a different woman there, and she was there playing with her children. I was chatting with her, and she said she'd bumped into me a few places, and we're talking. And she brings up that her child's name, which I won't say, uh, her child's name had a kind of um, uh, could be could be seen as an aquatic type name. And she says just in passing, and that's a good name for my uh, my daughter because she's almost a Pisces. She's almost a Pisces. And of course I'm an asshole, so I have to I have to kind of push and I go, well, you know, you shouldn't really talk about astrology. Astrology is anti-science. Astrology is really, really wrong. Uh, and not only is it wrong scientifically, but it's also wrong morally. Even if it were true scientifically, you should be uncomfortable with it uh, uh, politically and morally. And she says, oh yeah, well, I'm a, I'm a pretty standard Taurus. You know, I'm really hard headed, she says. And I go, well, yeah, it's okay. And I see from the, f that, uh, I feel really safe about this and I say to her, you know, uh, astrology is really first cousin to racism because it's judging people by how they were born and not by who they are. It's anti-individualist, it's anti-science, and it really is first cousin to racism. And she said, well, you know, I've never met a Sagittarius that I liked. I've never liked a Sagittarius. And I go, ooh, this is perfect. I can really sell it here. Here's my chance to make the point, the real skeptical point, the moral point, the humanitarian point, right here in the park where my children are playing with this MILF's children, I can make the point. So I say to her, if you want to see how astrology is just like racism, take your astrological term and replace it with your favorite ethnic slur. She replace Sagittarius with your favorite ethnic slur and see how that would sound. And that will give you an idea of how I feel about astrology. And she pauses for a moment and she thinks and she goes, you know, I don't think I've ever met a Jew that I like. <laughs> And I, I guess she's kidding. Um, I, I guess, I mean, she did what I told her to do, right? She replaced the Sagittarius with an ethnic, you know, thing. But she said it with sincerity. So I look at the chessboard and I, you know, I just kind of turn over my king. I just lost. She won fair and square. I gave her the thought experiment. She did the thought experiment and she came to a different conclusion from me. She doesn't like Sagittarius and she doesn't like Jews. Simple. No problem. She goes on with astrology and I just stand there holding my dick. Okay, uh, this episode of Pet Point. <laughs> By the way, I'm not a Sagittarius. This episode of Pet Point was brought to you by GoDaddy, our new sponsor. And I have it right here. Get reliable, secure web hosting without the long term contract. GoDaddy's hosting plans are bigger and better than ever with 99% uptime, free 24 7 supports, and no annual commitment. I assume that's 24. 7, uh, 30, 31, 28, or 29, and 365, and then 10 in a decade. It's every, let's cover everything. Support and no annual commitment. Check out revision3.com GoDaddy for a list of all the amazing GoDaddy deals from Revision 3. The code is PEN8. The code PEN8 gets you 10% off any order. That's PEN8. So check out GoDaddy. He makes movies like Parenthood. He's an entertainer. He doesn't feel it's necessary to wear his philosophy on his sleeve. Like some assholes.